Hello, Professor. Today, our group would like to um, talk about a very famous city, a uh, country. The country's name is Bolivia. The country is famous as Sarah and um, Sarah the uh, Uni. Firstly, I'd like to introduce the city and the country. Uh, the, city, the country is Bolivia. It's broaded to the north and east by Brazil. To the south is by um, Paraguay. And the, the city is located in the south of Bolivia. Uh, there are about um, 10 million of people uh, living in this country. And uh, uh, your name, which is located in Bolivia, has the largest south limited in the world. So uh, there are huge amount of um, uh, listen, uh, listen in the south in the south uh, flat. And every year, a lot of our people like to choose um, to visit the country um, to have see the beautiful and special. Now I'm going to introduce the highlights of the uh, Sala de Vilni. Vilni is the biggest and highest salt flat in the world. At here people will find the beauty quarters of flamingos. Also at 3 kilometers outside Vilni, there is an antique train cemetery. Years ago the train was used to carry uh, monoliths. Maybe in the future it will be a museum. Furthermore, there was a salt restaurant. Everything in the restaurant was made by salt. But now, in order to protect the environment, uh, it will become a museum for ability. I'm going to talk about identify sustainable issues. Cellar de Uyuni has least some rivers first in size. However, the U.S. Geological Survey claims at least 5.4 million of lithium could be extracted in Sala de Uyuni, while another report put it as high as 9 million tons. To get at the lithium below the white crust would cause irreparable damage to this landscape. It's a huge threat to both local people and wildlife. If we do not protect the lithium and the environment, maybe in the future the solar day unit will disappear. Booming tourism may cause damage to beautiful sites in Bolivia. There are several ways to solve this problem. First of all, the government should call for a limited to number of tourists. And secondly, make better communication with tourists. Tell them the importance of environment protecting. Also, people who work at the sites have to watch uh, tourist behavior frequently. Lithium exporting has lots of benefits for human beings, but the government should limit the exploit, exploit, exploit of lithium. It is not only for protecting the residents of local people, but also for the whole world. And it is so better to find something replace lithium.